Next, we're going to create a digital certificate by using the Active Directory Certificate Services web enrollment interface by typing on your browser HTTPS localhost slash cert SRV. Here we select request a certificate, advanced certificate request, and then create a submit request to the CA. Press yes on the button and then select the certificate template to you template to use. If you've created another template, you can choose that one as well. We're going to select web server on this one and the user interface changes accordingly. So for name, we'll type X, Y, sorry, we're doing MyCorp, company MyCorp again, department general, City Hamilton, State ON, and CA for the country. We're going to change the key size to 2048 bits, leave the CSP the same. We're going to enable the strong private key protection, leave the hash algorithm the same. And in the attributes, we're going to type something like this. So we're going to add some attributes to this. So subject alternative name, SAN. DNS is mycorp.ca.ca, we don't need .com here, so I'm going to take that out. And DNS equals www.mycorp.ca. So this means that this certificate can be used on both these names. Friend name would be mycorp2. Submit. So it's going to say that the, an application is creating a protected item. item. So we're going to say OK. And then yes. We're going to install the certificate as well. I'm going to close the utility. Now if you go to, cer to the certificate services, scroll down. If you look for my corp 2, you won't be able to see it. To fix this problem, make sure that you have, this is an older certificate of mine, so make sure that we have the certificate services entered on MMC. And I'm going to try to export this certificate. So I, I refresh the page and you can see my corp over here. So I'm going to export it from here. And then import it under local computer certificates. I'm going to choose base64 encoded. Click next. File name where do you want to export it. So I'm going to export it on the C data folder. I'm going to call it my cert 2 and I'm going to save it there and finish. Now I'm going to go to the certificates that are local to this computer, right click and under all tasks import. Similar wizard will import the certificate in this location. So select my cert 2, open next and then finish you'll see it's going to be my corp that's the